Hi, welcome back to Celebrating Culture. We're coming to you today from the American Cultural Center in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I'm with the ambassador to the United States, Mariangela Zapia. Ambassador, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you so much. What do you think, you're here from Mardi Gras, what is it like? Well, it's a great party, it's a beautiful tradition, and you know, in Italy we are quite expert in carnivals, Venice, Viareggio, and many others, smaller but equally beautiful. And so to see here the same love for this tradition and the same love for, you know, working to have this big parade once a year is really a pleasure. And then you see the city, how, how New Orleans is living around the organization of the carnival is just amazing. What do you think of the floats? You're Floats. The floats are beautiful and I have to say I had the privilege yesterday to peek into the den and give a look to the floats of this year. They are just amazing. Uh, they reminded me a lot of our uh, Viareggio Carnival, what we call Icarri. Really amazing and this is particularly significant to us Italians because it's Siena that is uh, represented in the floats. So. Tell me about Siena. What can I say? Siena, beautiful Tuscan city, a lot of history and tradition there. The link with New Orleans this year is really interesting. Siena is very known everywhere, not only for its art, not only for its architecture, but for its palio, right? So the city works for an entire year to organize the Palio for the next year. It's not only the cities, it's really the Contrade, the 17 Contrade of Siena. And here you have a little bit the same idea. All the different districts of New Orleans work around the parade. And so it's interesting to see these two Arapat cities in the end coming together around this idea of celebrating the culture of the city. You just said Carnival has a lot of Italian roots and Italy is promoting roots tourism. Yes. So maybe New Orleanians should go to see Carnival in Italy. Absolutely. So that, that would be really a very nice thing to do. Yes, we are promoting uh, Turismo delle Radici. And this is through our Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Minister of Culture, of course. And the whole idea is to bring back Italians that, you know, establish their life, in this case in the United States, to bring them back and see what's Italy today. They will discover a really great country. I was there recently and I was impressed with how much wind and solar. Italy is doing a lot with renewables. Absolutely. We are a champion in that. We are a champion in Europe and I have to say worldwide. We are transitioning quite fast from fossil fuel to renewable energy. So is wind, is solar, is hydrogen, is, is many others. You can find also here in the US our champions. They're all very well established in the US and they are helping the United States to do this big transition transition from, from fossil fuel to renewable energy is what we have to do and we have to do it fast. You had a meeting at your office for young Italians on digital media. This is also something that we are trying to explore much more. How do we communicate? How is diplomacy done through digital tools? Of course, it's also a reflection on how you do communication nowadays. Good communication, good information. How do you handle new media and the truthness of, of the information you're giving, how much you have to be careful in using those medias to, to get the information right. Media and, and technology and, and new media can be a fantastic tool to uh, spread the right news, the, the right information, the information that is based on facts. It can be also very challenging because polarization and double realities and double truth is really what we are confronting nowadays. If someone wants to know more, like I did, you can log on to the website for the embassy in D.C. Yeah. and find out all the initiatives you're taking. Ambassador, I want to thank you for being on the show. Thank you so much for coming to New Orleans. What an inspiration it's been for so many Italian-Americans here for your presence. Thank you very much. And it have a happy Mardi Gras. Thank you. Happy Mardi Gras. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more of Celebrating Culture. <laughs>